Kay Swinburne, MEP. You're the vice chair of the SME Intergroup. What can capital markets do to help our SMEs? Well, I think the first thing we need to understand is that not all SMEs actually need the capital markets, but many of them could benefit from at least knowing what they could offer them and as an alternative to the standard bank financing. So many of those companies, I hope, are now starting to get an understanding of what an equity investment might mean for them, what having other forms of funding, whether it's crowdfunding, peer-to-peer, business-to-business, all these new forms of lending that are out there. We want them to actually look at all the options. And the SME Intergroup is very keen on making sure that we have lots of sessions to explain to people all the different variations on the funding models that are there right now. There's never been a bigger choice and we need to make sure people are aware of it. And what barriers are there to the capital markets working successfully in the European Union? So for example, if I'm a Spanish SME, how can I get a Norwegian company to invest in my company? There are some difficulties still. We don't have a single capital market across Europe. We have 28 different capital markets with different legislation for investors to fight their way through. So I'm hoping that we can actually ease some of those barriers over the next two years where some of the tax issues of investing cross-border will be diminished. And hopefully we can make it a lot easier for people to raise capital in one country with investors coming from all across the EU. That will be the goal and it really needs to be delivered fast. One last question. I'm sorry, I have to mention the B word, but Brexit. One of the largest, one of the most successful capital markets in Europe is, of course, London. What role do you think London will play in future? Will it continue to play exactly the same role or will that relationship change? Well, London is one of the largest global financial markets and it's where most of the global investors have a base. So I suspect whatever happens with Brexit, we will actually see the London-based investors actually still playing a very big role. Most of the large venture capital funds have a London base and they invest across the whole continent of Europe. So I'm hopeful that we will continue to find a way that they can do that and we'll find a way that we don't put up new barriers, that we continue to diminish the barriers across the the union.